We are a motor manufacturing company in Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Our facility is 105,000 square feet with a current employment level of 175 team members. We make a variety of custom motors which range from one-third horsepower to five horsepower. Well, the product that we're discussing today is the Leeson branded Extreme Duck motor that's produced by Regal Beloit. So it's a brand of product that uh, has a legacy behind it. We consider ourselves the pioneer of the washdown duty motor industry way back in the early 90s. It's a motor that's really suitable for really tough applications. We've separated ourselves from the rest of the industry by having third-party certifications to allow the testing and the reliability of this product to be bulletproof. Starting out in the uh, winding department, what we do is we we'll bring the laminations out, we bring our our other raw materials like our wire, our insulation, and we'll start that process with insulating our core. From that point, what we do is we'll insert the wire and then we'll take it over and we'll do some additional insulating, especially in our three-phase product. We'll bring it down a little bit further, we'll do press and lace, and then we'll take it over and we'll test it. Once it gets tested, then we'll take it over and we'll varnish it. We'll take it off of the varnish system, probably takes a couple hours and then we'll insert it into a frame. As far as the, uh, the nameplate goes that we put on the motor, it's, it's not just a, a tag or anything like that, it's actually etched right into the stainless steel frame. If you just put a tag on, what's gonna happen is that food products and stuff can get stuck underneath it, and then that can be a, a contaminant over time, where if it's etched in, it's a smooth surface and you don't have to worry about anything getting stuck underneath there. At the same time, what we're doing is we're manufacturing shafts. In our shaft department, all of our bar stock comes in 12 foot lengths. We take it, cut it off. We have to turn it. So we have some collaborative robots that we'll actually use to help us with that process. Once the shafts are all completed, then what we'll do is we'll take those over to our rotor shaft department over near our die cast area. So in our die cast department, what we'll do is we'll take our loose rotor laminations and we'll do a pin-in process. Then we'll take those cores and we'll put those in the die caster. We'll inject the molten aluminum into the cores and that'll come out, we'll pull out the pins and then we'll take those over to what we call our hot drop area where we're gonna marry up the shaft and the rotor core. We'll put them in our hot drop oven for about 45 minutes. They'll get heated up to about 1,000 degrees basically so we can expand the ID of the rotor core. We'll drop the rotor core down over the top of the shaft and then we'll drop the entire thing into a bath of water. And what that'll do is it'll shrink, heat shrink up the rotor core onto the shaft. With some of the other processes that we do to the rotor shaft is we have a red insulating paint that we'll wind up putting on the rotor shaft assembly so that we don't have any rust. We'll take the rotor shaft assembly and we'll assemble them out in the assembly department. For our encapsulated product, what we're going to do is we're going to take a body assembly and we're going to put it over some nylon tooling and we're going to put it through our oven, heat it up for an hour so that that nylon bore will expand what we'll do is we'll encapsulate them. Now the encapsulating process is basically taking a liquid, like a two-part epoxy almost, and we will fill that into the body assembly. And then what we'll do is we'll take that, that liquid and we'll put it over to the side for three hours and let it sit so that if there's any air in there, it'll, it'll actually come out. And then we'll assemble the rest of the motor. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna test it and do what we call a vacuum decay test. So we can see if we have any problems with any uh, seals or, or any issues like that. And then we'll take it down uh, the rest of the process and we'll wrap it to a board, put it in a box, and we'll ship it to our Indianapolis warehouse. Motion Industries is a partner of ours, handling our MRO side of our business as well as our sales channel. So they're a good supplier to us, uh, providing industrial components that make our plants run and provide us just-in-time inventory of key components for assemblies. On the sales side of the business, Motion Industries is our largest distributor, representing our, our brands in electrical products and our power transmission solution products. Help us really align in vertical markets such as food and bev, aggregate and mining, and oil and gas. Motion has been partnered with us for many, many years. It allows us to also have the benefit of their logistics and their inventory strength. We use their technical assistance to get into applications and accounts that we traditionally don't cover in our normal channels. 
and they're the largest distributor that we have today in our company.